Hello my soccer universe and I hope you really had a Merry Christmas. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, what I got for Christmas but before that I gotta say I received on Christmas Day quite a few nice messages uh, also appreciating uh, and in, uh, messages especially for the channel which whatever I'm sure gonna show you here I have to be honest this was for me the biggest birthday present besides me being of course uh, with my family and having fun with the kids Christmas is honestly as much as I enjoy Christmas and receiving presents Christmas is really more fun when you have kids uh, I remember it as when I was a kid but with kids to see their eyes and the excitement uh, it's just something that you know as an adult you don't see that anymore and in a way it's to me it's still um, well, I am in many ways a big kid Still very much a holiday for kids I have to say but yeah so um, going back these messages really uh, touched me a lot I mean I always like I when I get messages of course I am always very appreciative and this always hits me but you know to hear this on Christmas that I think three people took the time out to write to me uh, how much they enjoy my videos and that they wish me a uh, Merry Christmas uh, that really uh, hit at the right spot and was a great, 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 great present. So thank you very, very, very much for um, watching and enjoying my videos. And I really uh, want to give back to you of giving you some uh, nice content and uh, messages like this really motivate me a lot. So long introduction. Let's get to my presence. Of course, you don't get an unpacking video now because, you know, I don't want to do this in front of family, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we have to stop. This has to be filmed now. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you what I got. Um, you can tell from the background, I still left it up. Reshuffled. I put Fiorentina up, reshuffled a little bit from uh, the Serie A performance review, which when I'm shooting this, it will come out in an, um, it will still come out. And I think when this post, I, I think I'll Publish this video before the Serie A performance review, so uh, keep stay tuned for that one. Uh, so it is two Italian related jerseys, and I chose Roma's 2002-2003 Champions League jersey because both jerseys are from a 2002-2003 season, which. Uh, funnily enough, I thought when I did it, do I have any other jerseys? I knew I have a Milan third in black, and I said, oh, yeah, I have a Roma black in as well. I have a Kievo, which is a team that doesn't exist anymore. I have this jersey, and jersey. I have two more. This is a season where I have quite a few uh, Serie A jerseys. So it might as well be that I uh, take recent seasons. I have to see, but it might well be the season where I have the most jerseys from. Interesting, definitely. So it is two and of course I identified them already in October and you know I set my wife on the path that these would be really nice to have at least one uh, but you know if two I wouldn't mind she of course uh, went for both so we got them I got the first one I'm going to show you which is to be honest the one that I have been longing for for a really really long time and being able to get it although it is you will see it's a size small uh is quite the thrill so it's a you it, know it's not size small it's a size smaller than what you usually it's an l but it still fits fine and then the other one is just a perfect companion piece to it so without further ado i'm talking already a lot let me show you the first jersey i said it's the one that I've been longing for more and it's the one that uh, definitely gives me more feels. But I think that the other jersey that I got second is a teeny bit more special in many ways. So that's why. Okay. The first one is Milan 2002-3 away. When I got the black jersey, I went on the Milan uh, store right the day after the Champions League final. I wanted to get the white one. They didn't have it. That's why I bought the black one with Maldini on the back. This one is blank on the back. Um, I was not a huge fan of the 2002-3 uh, uh, style of jerseys, to be honest. Although I have to say this one looks kind of all right. Uh, makes some sense. Uh, but the fact that this was Milan's return to winning the Champions League made this a must-have. I mean, this is now, the, in a way, the second Champions League winning jersey from Milan that I have. 
I honestly think the three pre pre previous I'm not sure if they ever were sold commercially, um, which is a shame because they're all uh, really, 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 really nice. This one is more a little bit, you know, uh, early, early to 2000s, it's all more the template stuff. We have white, we have the red color. We have, of course, the really nice Adidas striping in red, black, red. And yeah, it is a jersey that I have been wanting for a whole lot of time. As I said, I wanted to buy it back then. I then bought the black one and I was still look, looking for the white one. I wanted to get it with Sheva. Then uh, this was my first eBay jersey purchase. purchase. I wanted to buy with Sheva and I knew that Sheva, uh, the, num the official number had had some holes. So I bought it, I got it. The Sheva printing was perfect, but the, it was as fake as fake can be because the Milan crest, I mean, you could tell from 20 meters afar that this is not a proper Milan crest. Of course, I was so fixated on the name set that I missed out there. Yeah, I gave it to, 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 to a brother who actually managed to sell it as I don't. So being able to get this one is a true thrill for me. Uh, this is, as I said, one that I've been after for a long time. I think it's a pretty jersey. I have now the the white one and the black one. The home jersey I have, have said it was never really my favorite because uh, the black was kind of faded out because they had the undershirt in red. So you had the kind of a lot of ventilation. Then it was kind of this uh, darkish red and uh, darkish red and red striped jersey. It never looked quite right to me. But the away and the third churches were both really, really, really nice. I also gotta say that I remember they had this on classic football shirts and I wanna say around 2013 when I moved from America to Austria. And I remember I did this interview to get a job at the, university, at the Technical University in Vienna. I thought if I get this job, I really should reward myself. And they had it Champions League final specification, but I think it was 350 euros. Uh, since we just had made the move, it was a little bit steep, but I really wanted, I really wanted. But uh, in the end, I said no. I, 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 I then bought me something cheap, cheap, and I do regret it because that it was player issue with the Champions League final specification that which would have been even more special. And since then, I haven't seen it. Now I saw it. Now I have it. I am super thrilled with this one. Yes, it's a little bit wrinkled now from the packaging and and, and so on. But as soon as I wash it, this will be out. So yeah, very very pleased with this one. Now, what would be the companion to this one? I'll let you venture, I guess. I really let, let you venture, I guess. What would be the perfect companion? Of course, the team that they beat in the Champions League final, Juventus. Uh, this is the Juve home shirt. Now, this is not the European version. This is the league version because the European version is a Tom Oil sponsor. This one has the league sponsor, which is fast web. To be honest, this one is a lot nicer. I have to say the league version is really, really nice. Now, many would say this is not a typical Juve look in many ways because there's a whole lot of black. It was even worn in a Champions League final with black pants. And for me, Juve was always a um, team with, uh, you know, with white pants. However, there, there is just a feature of this jersey that I really, really like and I get to it. But there's a, there, another reason why I really wanted to get, get one that I also, also get. It has, of course, the Scudetto. It has. This, to me, is probably the best Juve crest ever. When they modernized it, I actually didn't like it at all. I actually like the, the current one better than the previous modernized Dynas version. But this one is really, really nice. But I understand it. Uh, scaling it, especially with the Juventus lettering here, is really, really, really hard. But please have this shape of the crest in mind. Juve won that season the title. Milan won the Champions League and the Italian Cup. So uh, also something. This is a Lotto jersey and I think this is now my fifth Lotto jersey. Uh, one is a Milan home in red and black and, all, and the other one is a Milan away and all the other ones that I have. Uh, that Udiner shirt back there and then uh, it's the Sturm Graz shirt. So they're all kind of uh, same colors. Uh, and of course, full lot, lot, lot of lettering. You can see it's a little bit beat up because the sponsor here, you see there's some white. Um, it, it is an old jersey. However, what does this put, what makes this even more special? I mean, not, not, not only is it the Juve home shirt, uh, but look first of all at the shape of the striping. There's the oval shape in black and white, three black stripes. Look at the crest, oval shape, three black stripes. 
So this is basically in kind of a reference to the Juventus crest already. And you see it also on the sleeves, although, you know, there are only the three black stripes. It really gets best when you look at it on the back. And now this is why this is extra special. A guy with Del Piero. That was a must have. And you see here, the way that the nameplate is not a straight name, nameplate, it's like the Juve crest. It has this kind of swing in there. So it's a little bit wider on the outside than on, on the inside. So again, Juve crest. The only thing that could made, have made this better if this nameplate here was also in white to really, really drive the point home. Uh, and it would also, I think, fit nice with the number. Uh, if the number now had bulls in there, this would actually complete a pretty perfect look. But yeah, being able to get the El Piero Juve jersey, and I know many Juve fans may not say this is a classic look. I honestly think when I finally, when it clicked to me what the, what this design is trying to do, that it's the crest, it's almost a perfect Juve jersey for, for me. And I have already one, so this is my second ever Juve jersey, uh, the one the, from the 19... One nine nine two. This is a classic Juve look, but you know, it's a little bit different one. So I'm very very pleased with that one. Really beautiful jersey. This is an XL. Fits almost like a uh, fits a little bit wider than XL. I gotta say, but it doesn't bother me. So yeah, those are the two beauties. Uh, I call them a perfect pair. They really fit nicely together. I have all the titles that have been won by talent teams. <laughs> More or less, we have the Serie A winning jersey. And we have the jersey that won the Coppa Italia against Roma, which I'm wearing here. And then, um, of course, the Champions League. So, uh, couldn't be better than that. By the way, uh, go on Wikipedia and look at the results of the 2002-2003 season. It was Juve, Inter, uh, and then Milan in third place. Um, but there are teams in there, some of which don't exist anymore. Some that I don't even recall being in Serie A like Modena. Como, <laughs> yeah, I, I was really amazed. And four relegated teams, four relegated teams in an 18 team league, uh, adds overkill in many, many ways. But that was Serie A at the time. In any case, let me know what you thought about these. I'll pull it out again. I'm, I'm super pleased with these two. Serie A winners, Champions League winners. Let, let me know what you think about these two jerseys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.